Hey y'all, it's Mommy Wata and I am back. I hope you all are doing good at this time. Hello to all of my subscribers. Thank you so much for everyone who has recently joined this channel, but I wanna send a special thank you, a special shout out to those organic members who've been here from the very beginning. This channel will be a year old in September, I think. Yep, I started posting, I think I started posting my first videos to this channel no, it was like July or August. So it's probably been about a year since I've been posting, but I'm thankful for those people who have stuck with me from the very beginning. Libra, we just did a Libra. It's already uploaded probably by the time you'll see this. So go check that video out. We already did water signs. There may be another water sign message. King of Pentacles behind that water sign energy. Let's see, what else, Holy Spirit? Do we have a message for anybody else? Taurus. Okay. So let's see what the messages are for my Tauruses, my bulls. Let's see. Damn. The song that came on is Remember You by Wiz Khalifa in the weekend. And the card that popped out was It's Not As Good As Yours, Taurus. So somebody thinking about it. They're thinking about you. They're remembering you. They hope you remember them like they remember you. That's for somebody now. Okay, so let's see. What else for my Tauruses, Holy Spirit? What other messages do you have for my Taurus Collective, please? And thank you. Let's see what that was. Hidden cameras out here. Let's see. Let's keep going. We ain't finna fuck with it. We gonna see what comes out organically, okay? On its own. Let's see. Messages, Holy Spirit. What else do you want us to know? What are the collective messages for my Tauruses at this time from you through me? Holy Spirit, what messages from the universe do you have for them, please? And thank you, Holy Spirit. What is it that you would like for them to know? Maybe you was on hidden camera, Taurus. Okay. Let's see. Let's see what comes out. Let's go. Messages for my Tauruses, Holy Spirit, please and thank you. Grace and mercy is out here. Maybe you're asking for grace and mercy, Holy Spirit. I don't know. I'm picking up something, Taurus. Something about your house. I don't know. Let's see here. I'm picking up that there's a Taurus who's asking for grace and mercy. Clarify, Holy Spirit. They are in love. Mm, this is interesting energy. What else, Holy Spirit? What is this? They are in awe because the spell work ain't spelling. Y'all, I'm hearing that it's a Taurus in this energy now. They're asking for grace and mercy because of what they've sent out towards someone. Some sort of spell work. And they're in awe that this spell work hasn't given them the results that they wanted. Possibly to make someone fall in love with them or choose them. I don't know. Let's, let's keep going. Spiritual ties and divine ties are two different things. So if this Taurus... This could be somebody trying to do this to you, Taurus, but I feel like I'm picking up, y'all, that it's a Taurus who was trying to tie someone to them with spell work because they are in love with them, but that shit ain't working. And something has blown back into this Taurus's life because that they were trying to create a spiritual tie, hoping that it would become a divine tie. But you can't tie a divine being to you especially if they're divinely connected to another person so this taurus is experiencing a gentle dissolve in their life and they're asking for grace and mercy for the spell work that they did 
Clarify Holy Spirit. That's what I'm hearing, y'all. Holy Spirit, y'all think I'm playing. Holy Spirit and grace and mercy is out here because she loves him. But whatever she did to get the, the love of this person, it was bad. It was some spell work she shouldn't have did. That's why I be telling y'all, you can fuck with spell work if you want to, but you better know how that shit work. And you need to be expecting for that energy to return to you in a variation of ways. Because this person is asking for grace and mercy. So life is kicking this Taurus's ass for doing this spell work on this masculine to tie him to her spiritually. They evil. Personally, I feel like that's the evil thing to do, to try to force someone to be with you spiritually, to try to spiritually bind somebody to you. That's what this Taurus has done. And I feel like this man was confused at one point about how they felt for this person because of the spell work that they did on them. But that shit didn't backfire, child. Anything else before we move on to the tarot, Holy Spirit? Well, we call them fans. I'm telling you, she is obsessed with this man. Whoever this man is that she tried to bind herself to. But I feel like this man don't even give her the time of day. It's then got to that point. A house is not a home. And if they were living together, if, if they did have some sort of domestic partnership going on, that has ended. And if he's there, he's not, he's not present, present, not mentally present. Let's see. Holy Spirit, what would you like for us to know about this energy that has come out from our Taurus Collective? Please and thank you. What is the insight and guidance that you would like for us to have here? Could be a Queen of Pentacles that's this experiencing this right now. But they're definitely facing some sort of blowback here. I cut the deck on the Seven of Wands. For doing this spell on this this divine energy. This this masculine is divine. I ain't saying this Taurus ain't divine, but this wasn't her divine masculine to be doing this too. That's why it's this is happening this way. So let's see, Holy Spirit. What else do we need to know about this, please? And thank you. She may have wrote some spell work on scribble paper. The song on right now is Scribble Paper by Little Dragon. Two of Pentacles. She definitely did something, y'all. She did something spiritually to make this man give to her. To make this man accept her offer. He could be a water sign. What else, Holy Spirit? Two of Wands. But this man has been acting like he don't want to be there no more. He's actually possibly en route. Transitioning out of this home, possibly as we speak. Because he don't want to be there. At one point, this man was participating in this partnership because of the spell work, the confusion that the spell work was causing on his judgment. But this man is, is an emperor. I'm telling you, this is a divine masculine that she tried to place these illusions under. And that shit got her ass in the Ten of Swords because you can't do that. It might... It might cause a delay. It might deter the person for a time, but eventually that shit gonna end. 
And whatever you send back is going to come back to you. And that's what's happened here. Because she wanted this man to be her partner. I feel like this, this divine masculine, this emperor, king of pentacles may have already left this Taurus at one point because the partnership was low vibrational. But he returned to her. And it's because she she created some sort of confusion and conflict in his mind about her so that they could have a new start. So that he could love her again. But this man woke up somehow here with this page of swords. And that's that divinity that exists within him. That's going to allow him to be selfish and reevaluate situations and make choices that are going to be conducive to his well-being, to his happiness. He, he went selfish on her. He tapped into himself and his needs and his wants here. And that's when he received some sort of insight about what this woman was doing to make him love her and want to have a new start with her. Okay? This man is this man then created a new start for himself. And he got his guard up to this woman. He don't want shit from her. And this Taurus is in the tower with this empress to the queen of pentacles to the tower. She really struggling right now. I'm telling you, this woman is asking God to help her. Asking for them to stop punishing her in this way because this man is leaving. This man has possibly already left the building. Tower falling right up under the emperor. He don't want shit she got to offer. He don't give a damn if she is supposed to be an empress or queen of pentacles or not. This man got some sort of spiritual download that let him know that this woman had been doing that shit to her. To her, excuse me, to him. To have a victory and a success. To have this Ten of Pentacles partnership. Mm. Damn, y'all. And I mean, whatever she did to tie him to her spiritually, that shit worked for a time because they coming out here as each other's match twice. Nah. Emperor, Empress and King and Queen of Pentacles. But the Five of Pentacles preceded this King of Pentacles because it was a low vibrational connection. No matter how she tried to spiritually manipulate this connection here, the truth has been revealed to this masculine. And I'm telling you, it was a spiritual download. Ain't nobody come and tell him nothing. This man figured it out. Six of Wands came right back out here. He figured out that this woman betrayed him somehow to have a victory with him. She betrayed him spiritually for sure. He thinks she evil, y'all. I'm telling you, he don't want nothing to do with her. Knight of Wands. Because that intuition kicked in. That intuition kicked in. And I'm talking about he might have woke up this morning and was like, I'm out of here. Like, she don't know what the fuck sparked this transition, this change, this plan to leave her behind. She's like, what is happening? She calling on God, but she wasn't calling on God when she did this, this spell. When she wrote that spell out on some scribbled paper. Okay. Mm. Anything else here for my Tauruses? This ain't for everybody. Ooh, the Holy Spirit says that's the truth. But this Ace of Swords also represents the mental clarity that this Emperor King of Pentacles received when he tapped into his own intuition. When he asked those hard questions about this partnership that he was in. Because I'm telling you, this man was confused. He couldn't figure out why he would even want to be with her. He didn't want to be with her. He'd already left her. So why was he returning to her to have a partnership, a union? Why was he viewing her as the Sun Queen of Cups when he already knew the conflict that had existed between them, them in the past? Any final messages, Holy Spirit? Anything else here for my Taurus Collective? Please and thank you.
Three of Wands. He he's transitioned. He's turned his back on this partnership for good. Yes, he has. The lovers. Because let me tell you what, this is somebody else, Divine Masculine. Boy, I'm telling my, they spilling the tea. We getting tea and crumpets and macaroons here lately now. Okay. This somebody else, Divine Masculine. I just heard that. And he's realizing that whoever his twin flame is that's at a distance, he was missing out on his divine connection because he was in a spiritual tie with this Taurus here. This man is looking towards his, his true divine counterpart. Knight of Cups. And I feel like he's going to be discreet about how he moves forward when it comes to love, but he's definitely trying to decide how to make an offer to his night to his lovers. He's trying to decide. He's trying to decide, look, how he gonna balance it. I think I'm gonna leave it here too. I think that's it. That's all y'all. Okay. Again, this got pretty specific. So take what resonates. Spiritual confirmation. I'm trying to tell you this. I'm not even going to talk about what this Emperor King of Pentacles is going to do. Because I do feel like this Taurus Empress Queen of Pentacles is frantic. She's, she's willing to do anything to make this man remain in a partnership with her. So I'm not finna give away his his plan of escape, okay? But if it doesn't apply, please let it fly. Take only what resonates. Leave the rest, and I'll be back soon with another one, y'all. Peace.